Yeah, we're back on the uh, Rolls Royce where we where we have just repaired uh, the seal and I've just put um, fiberglass in. So what we're doing now is um, we've got um, ice upon uh, P30H, uh, which is a, a body filler, and you also have a uh, hardener in the pack. So what we do is we just mix a bit of the poly filler with the hardener and um, once it goes now if you um, recall um, the hole that we had uh, on the car we started um, filling this up with um, P38 and um, fiberglass so we're back to the mixture again. I'll just put it in from here. Now we're going to be putting a bit of hardener in. So hardener goes in. It's not a lot you need, especially if it's a nice sunny day. So I'll just put the lid back on. You want to make sure that you put the lid uh, back on straight away. So that, that's the lid back on. I'll put that there. And now I'm just going to do a mix. So that's now been uh, mixed uh, really well. You can still see the red marks in there, which is standard. We've mixed the, the hardener uh, with the compound. And I'm just going to go around where we've originally on on the video number two I've shown you how to use fiberglass so now you can see that's rock solid so we just paste this over the fiberglass as this and then it will be ready for rubbing down So there's no problem in um, overloading it because this really sounds down well. So it doesn't matter if it's high. So I'm trying to co um, cover all the little holes because when you sand you want to make sure that all the holes are covered and ideally you want to use wet and um, dry sandpaper because you get a very good finish with that so now we've um, now we've used this filler video you'll see how I sand it down manually no machines because as you were this is a Rolls Royce and it's 